morning everybody it's about 7 15. i'm in a county today where i haven't found a shed so we'll see if we can knock it off i got up about seven i was camped right here i got my tent all put away all ready to go vans parked over there so we're just going to start heading west through all this mixture of juniper and there's a little bit of cedar some sagebrush when I pulled in here last night to camp, I got here about midnight last night, I almost hit a huge four-point, I mean a big buck, one of the biggest bucks I've seen, and then another smaller four-point was with him. So hopefully that's an omen that there's a lot of deer activity here and we'll find some sheds. Thanks for coming along. I'm about a mile and a half in, maybe two miles. I'll flip this around. Look way out there in the distance, you can see the freeway. So this country is just all of these little finger ridges and drops down in these little canyons. And the ridges are probably only, I don't know, 200 feet in elevation. But I've crossed about four already. I'm just, I hike, I kind of side hill up it. When I get to the top of the finger ridge, I work it north to south. I drop down in the other side. When I get to the bottom, I kind of work it, grid it. It's about 10 degrees cooler in the bottoms. That cool air over the night settled in the bottoms, and it's shady. And, uh, and then when I get up on a ridge, like right now I'm on the top of this finger ridge again, so I'll just work this back and forth, back and forth, and then drop down on the other side. Beautiful day. Well guys, this ridge is a little bit higher than the others. That sagebrush flat down to my left, that's private land. But there's another sage flat just up a little higher that's public. I'm gonna try and get over to that. I've said it before on the videos, but when you're out in areas like this where it's both public and private, to be able to have Onyx or some other similar app that shows you where the private land is is huge. So I'm going to find a way to work down this. It's not quite as steep as right here. Make over that next little knoll, and then we'll see if we can make our way over to that sage flat over there. My GoPro batteries are dead, which is weird. I charged them before I left. They should have had plenty of juice. So it looks like we'll be filming on the phone for the rest of the hike. Drop down on the other side. There's some really cool rock formations down in here. A couple little caves like that one right there. All right, everybody, I'm heading back to the van. I've not found any sheds. It's always been a slow day. A lot of deer sign up here, but also a lot of people sign. I think this area gets hit a lot. And I don't mean just by shed hunters, but just people who want to get out. So just found some nice broadhead. I think I'm about three quarters of a mile from the van. Now certainly I might still find something on the way because I did a loop. I'm not going back the same way, but I'd say odds are pretty good. I'm going to get skunked today, so if that's the case, we'll combine this with another video. So just dropping down through all these little junipers and oak brush and a few ponderosa pine. Pretty country. Just haven't found any sheds. That fish hit this lure before it even hit the water almost, man. He like caught it out of the air. Nice, healthy brown. The color's on him, guys. A 
Look how red and orange the spots are, blue halos. Good way to start the day. Hey guys, we're hooked up on number two. Gosh, she's even nicer than the last one, I think. Yeah, I don't have my tape with me, but he's he's 13 inches easy. Pretty, pretty fish. Well guys, before I move on to my next spot, I want to give the channel shout out and it's to Flint Hill Catfishing. Flint Hill Catfishing. He does bank fishing, he does some kayak fishing, uh, catches a lot of big catfish, uh, does a really good job producing his videos. They're just solid. There's not a lot of wasted time on them. You know, he kind of gets right to the action. Uh, but yet he's still personable. So anyway, I think he does a really good job on his videos. That's Flint Hill Catfishing. Check him out when you have some time. Thanks, guys. Okay, guys. Well, the bite hasn't been quite as good today. It's windy, so I've, I've lost a lure in the tree just now. Bad cast on my part. But I'm going to go with this little rainbow-colored meps. See if we can change our luck a little bit. I've only caught three so far, so it's been one of the slower days here on the Blacksmith Fork for me. Um, I think the fewest I've caught up here is five, so hopefully we can at least catch a couple more. Okay guys, it's time to wrap up the video and do the Minute on the Mountain. First thing I want to address is the title of the video. You may be wondering, well, where was the beaver and the skunk? <laughs> Since the video is titled uh, Beaver, Skunk, and Brown Trout. Well, the shed hunt that was on the first part of this video was in Beaver County, and I got skunk there. So for all you punctuation Nazis, uh, I intentionally didn't put a comma in the title between beaver and skunk. <laughs> so I wasn't talking about different animals, but getting skunked in Beaver County. So anyway, that's the reason for the title. Um, the Minute on the Mountain is 1 Peter 5, 7, which says, Cast all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. I thought that would be a, an appropriate verse since we did a fishing video, and, and it talks about casting your cares upon the Lord. I just recognize people are under a lot of stress right now. There's just so much going on in our country, in culture. Um, if you're like me, you're just trying to make wise decisions. You know, you're trying to honor God, but sometimes it, it seems a little murky on what's the right thing to do to do that. So I, I just want to encourage you to cast your cares upon Him. Take your cares to the Lord. Take your burdens. Take your worries. Be honest with him. I mean, God already knows the depths of our heart, but there's something healing and something positive about communicating those cares to God, to bringing him to his feet, and then asking him through his power to help you release those. So again, 1 Peter 5, 7. Hope you get a chance to read that this week. Thanks for coming along, everybody. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet uh, and you enjoy the videos, you like the outdoors, you like to be encouraged from God's word, do me a favor, hit that sub button. Uh, and I don't ask this very often, but, you know, share a video. If you wouldn't mind, pick one of the videos that you really enjoyed and share that. Share it on your Facebook or, you know, other social media platforms. I'd sure appreciate it. Thanks for all you guys uh, do for me as far as your support, your comments, your encouragement. Uh, it's awesome that I've had a chance to get to know so many people through this YouTube thing. Um, I mean, there's probably three dozen guys that I communicate with on a weekly basis through their videos or through my videos. And I've really enjoyed getting to know you guys. And uh, if there's everything I can do for you, please let me know. All right, guys, take care. Have a good week.